Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we're going to be doing a couple things. Uh, first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting a new dome light inside of the truck. And then we're going to be popping off the harmon harmonic balancer pulley. Not harmonic balancer. It's not what I meant. I meant um, water pump pulley. Yeah, water pump. Popping off the water pump pulley. Either sanding it down and recoating it and like making it look all pretty and stuff. Or buying a new one. A new one is $20. I'm going to see how, how difficult, how, how bad that one is. Because I know it's chewing up a belt, so I need to go ahead and take it off anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with the light. Alright, so there was actually nothing wrong with the dome light that was up there before. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It works perfectly. But, I found this one out of an XLT that's in really good shape in a junkyard. Now, you'll notice that there's some gasket tape right there. And that's because, if, well, if I hold it up, get in here. If I hold it up like this, where that's where everything's supposed to be, you can see there's a gap there in between the top of the cab and the light. And to fill that, I'm going to be using the gasket tape. But this gasket tape is what I use on my subwoofer boxes, and you can see it's pretty thin, and it actually looks like foam. I have got this other stuff back here that I think is going to look a good bit better on it which is this stuff. I bought this, it's called weather strip. It's actually weather stripping. And I think that's gonna look a lot better. And actually be more like, I guess, more protection worthy because like, then it'll be like an actual gasket, not a fake gasket, whereas this will be a fake gasket. This is like an actual weatherproof gasket. So, and look, it was only dollars for this whole roll. So, it's pretty good there. Um, and then, uh, so what we're going to have to do with it is, you can see right here, this lifts up, and in there is the bulbs for these. So right now, you can't actually access that because this is covering it up. So we're going to have to trim it down and make it fit. So we're going to be doing that, and uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and start it. Alright, so the part that you're going to see is going to be here. You can see my transition there wasn't so great, but that's going to be at the back. Um, I had originally cut up this gasket over here to make a thin strip, but I pretty much said screw it. If the thing needs to come off, I'll just pull the tape up and uh, fix it whenever that day comes. So, yeah. And uh, the gasket is pretty decent on there. Um, I'm still making slight adjustments to it just to kind of get all the adhesives removed but I mean I say I did a pretty damn good job so we're gonna go ahead and pop it on there and um, see what it does All right, guys. So you saw it working. Um, I'm having trouble getting the actual like switches to work. I don't know if it's because this is an XL and it came out of an XLT. I'm gonna do some more research and see what I can find out. So like, 
it, it's up there, and I mean the gasket actually looks like really good on it. I, I think I did a good job, and like it works as you can see. But these is it working? I just can't see it. Oh no, it's not okay. But like, it still doesn't work. So. But it's got, it's got the same wires, like that's the thing. Like the other one has two wires on the ground. And as you can see, we have one, two, three screws. Do you see those two plastic things? That's the two wires. That's exactly how it comes down on the XLTs. And I put it up the same way. I'm just I'm trying to... I wonder if it's like a fuse or something. Huh. I guess we'll see. Okay, so the only one that actually controls it is like there's just one fuse that controls all of it down here. It's a 15 amp, and I already checked it. It works, which I mean, you could have already told by the way the fact, the fact that works. Um, so I don't know, but I, I do have to say, I'm kind of digging the way it looks up there versus this old one. I don't know. You guys should let me know in the comment section which one you like better. I'm gonna, I mean, I can order a lens for that, which is my plan. So it'll have a lens. I think I like it a lot better. But let me know anyway. Alright, so, um, another day. My hair's all, you know, crazy, but that's fine. Um, I can't get the two switch lights to work. So I want to play with this more. I've got one more thing I want to try. If it doesn't work, I guess I'll say screw it, but if it does work, that means that we've got a little more to do, which means this will probably take up the whole video for this one. But uh, we're going to go ahead and try it. If it don't work, we'll continue and find something else to do. So there's not a battery in this, which is why it's not on right now, uh, because I killed the battery the other day. Uh, but it's charged up now. We're going to go ahead and uh, do what I'm talking about doing. We're going to see if it works. And if not, then oh well. Yeah! I was right! Haha! -ha. Yes! Okay. Let me explain. Okay. So these, right here. That's our issue. These are reversed on the XLs. On the XLT, these two are in two different positions. So we have to figure out a way to get them out and switch them. That is what we have to do. So I'm going to introduce a plan for that, and then I'll set you guys up back in here. Okay. You can see those connectors in there. Those are the ones for the inside dome light. So, I think we get a screwdriver and we may be able to pop them loose. Okay, so we got them out. Um, taking out the metal tail light definitely helps. And uh, the black one was at the back originally and the green one was at the front originally and we tried reversing them All right, we tried to just pop them back in and they don't want to go because the metal is cut differently so that doesn't work so instead of going through a lot of bullcrap we're going to just reverse the wiring we're going to put black to green green to black and put them back in so uh, I'm going to be taking off some of this tape so that I've got a little bit more to work with and uh we're going to be going from there.
All right, y'all. Got it rewired. Look at it. It's working. I'm so happy right now. This is amazing. Okay, I'm like really confused right now because I wired it back up the way it was and now it's working. Right. So, you know, go go figure. I don't I don't even know. Let's just make sure that whenever we close the doors, it goes off. Because that was the issue that I had last time, was that if we close the doors, the damn light didn't go off. Hey! Okay, it actually works now. Everything's working right. What on earth? I have no clue what happened, but... Um, in the process of doing that, you can probably tell we lost that connector. And I swear, guys, I looked for it forever. And I, I, just, I just cannot find it. So I'm going to go rob another one from another vehicle. Come back later and pull it back down and fix it. But, yeah, that's awesome. I can't believe... I don't know what happened. And maybe it was working the whole time and I was just being completely retarded. I don't know. Let's see if we close the door, it goes off. See, and then we can turn on our map lights, which are surprisingly super freaking dim, but they're map lights and they work. And I'm, I'm really excited because I really wanted it to work and they work. Apparently they worked the whole time and I just broke my truck for no reason. <laughs> it's okay though, we're gonna fix it. We're just gonna go get some parts. All right, guys. Okay, just to prove that I'm not that I'm not a madman. Okay, I came out here. This is like early. So this is like 10, 11. And look, you can clearly tell that it is working, and it wasn't before. Rewind the video and tell me that there's not a noticeable difference. I don't know what I did. I don't know if I'll ever figure it out. But it works. That's map lights work. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Alright guys, well, that's gonna be it for today. I did want to include something else in this video, but uh, I feel like it's already gonna be kind of long. And I don't want to try to cram anything. So, uh, yeah guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If not, leave a dislike. Tell me how I can improve and be better. And uh, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.